So, what's up everybody? It is Saturday. And I'm just sitting here taking some emails, filling out some things, budgeting, doing the bills. And then, um, after I finish that, I want to go ahead and take y'all around the house. Um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but a lot of work has been done. So I just want to go ahead and show you around, um, show you what we've done to the nursery so far, which is not a lot of stuff because... It's being painted, but like I said, definitely still want to show you. So yeah, let me get this stuff done, and then I will show y'all the house. Thank you. Okay, so I am still going to definitely do a haul. Not a haul, I'm so sorry. I definitely still want to do the little, you know, updated house tour. But oh my gosh, I just came back from shopping. Excuse me, I went to Aldi's in the dollar store, and the saddest thing is on my front porch. And I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm, 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 I'm like, oh my gosh, do I go out there and try to save them? Like, what do I do? Oh my gosh. Look. So, I have this little, like, porch area right here. And there was a baby's nest, baby bird's nest right there. And, um, didn't really have any issues. Of course, once they're done, I wanted to clear it out and put some netting up there. But we forgot. So another nest form, excuse my dirty, dirty doors, but another nest form. So I opened the door to get some light into my house and oh my gosh, the baby birds, they fell out. And I think, I think that one is still alive, but I don't know what to do. And then there's the other one like, oh my God, what do I do? I don't, I'm scared to touch them. Like I know they're, oh my gosh, I'm so, oh my gosh. I seriously oh my gosh you saw him move oh my gosh it's like do I call oh my gosh I don't let me see if there's somebody I can call so it's the next day I'm so sorry but yesterday I for some reason got well I mean not for some reason I understand why I got really choked up with the birds so update on the baby birds there's nothing I could do um I kept panicking every time I looked at them. I called Animal Rescue, closed Animal Control, closed a couple of pest companies. They don't do anything. PetSmart, Petsco, non-emergency 911, like nobody could assist me. And I felt, and I still feel like so horrible because called one of my coworkers that is a pet lover and he was like, don't touch him with your hand because if the mommy smells human, and the baby, she won't help them or do anything for them. So he was like, pick them up with a piece of paper and put them in the nest. Okay, the hard part about that is that the nest is high and I'm six months pregnant and I can't climb a ladder. I don't even have a ladder. And the chair that I had wouldn't have put me high enough. And then, like I said, every time I, I tried, to, tried to get them up, they were like moving. Oh my God. And um, I could, I, I, ju I just couldn't. So, um. I haven't looked out there. Ow, got a bead bead. Um, I haven't looked out there today because um, it took me a like I cried for a very long time, and I, I was just getting very emotional and I just couldn't. So um, I, uh, yeah. So that's the update with the baby birds. But what I was coming to you today was I wanted to go ahead and do kind of like an updated house tour before it got dark. So, all right. So here we go. All right, guys. So starting with the garage. My garage is a hot mess. Um, I do park both cars in the garage, which is why this space is cleared. I'm going to get this cleared out eventually someday but as you walk in you see that the walls have been painted um sorry i have not been able to change my floors yet i want to get a light brown and grayish wood floors so that will be done um then you close the door you lock it and then that's my door this is the laundry room running laundry Pretty much nothing has been done in here either, except for throwing our washer and dryer in there. 
And the next room is the half bathroom. And the half bathroom is painted the same color as the hallway and the living room is. And that is because our wonderful painter had us buy 10 gallons of paint that we really didn't need. So rather than having each room a different shade of gray, which is what I wanted, I just went ahead and painted it. So um, we don't use this because I have to get a ladder and get the tops painted, which are very, very high. So half bathroom has been worked on, but it's not complete. And then the next space is the linen closet. Nothing special, no organization has been done for this space and it will not no time soon. Master bedroom. Um, mm. So we got the TV up. There's the dresser, the vanity, which I might change. I might put my nursing chair in here since the baby's gonna be in my room for the first month or two. And then the messy bed, messy nightstand, mirrors. Oh, this has been painted, so I'm sorry. I painted this wall and the opposite wall a fresh coat of white and then this wall and this wall is another shade of gray um, I'll try to put the colors somewhere in the picture and then the half bathroom the half bathroom sorry the master is painted the same gray as the bedroom so that's all of that such not really a mess, just I have to find places for everything. And then the master closet has not been painted. It's still the way it was when we moved in. So that is that. All right. And then this is just a junk all storage place right now that will be the hallway closet as soon as I get it organized. And then this is the living room. The living room was a brownish color and then this wall was orange. As you can see, bits and pieces of it is still around the vent. Um, didn't have the best painter, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna have to touch that up. Then find somebody to paint the corners because he did a horrible job. But this couch will be going upstairs in the movie room and we'll be trying to do something with this fireplace area. And then this is the kitchen. And like I said, we had 10 gallons of that paint. So just pulled it on through to the kitchen. This wall was actually red and just painted it the same color as everything else. Here's my little coffee station. I just gotta get some legs to lift it. And then there's gonna be a little wall gallery right there. There's that, my trash can, and then this space. The kitchen will get a fresh coat of white paint and then I'm gonna paint the cabinets gray. Uh, my new appliances, there's my dishwasher that I don't like because even though it has a drying option, you still have to crack it at the end of the cycle. Ooh, ants. You still have to crack it at the end of the cycle to have your dishes dry. There's the new stove, microwave, and refrigerator pantry hot mess trying to get it together it's not there yet um doors have not been painted so they look rough oh oh yeah gonna do a backsplash and paint the countertops and then let me take you upstairs this is the i think i might put one or two more things but this is going to go over the coffee station Front door, little key placement. And then I want to, I really want to put a growth chart right here for the kids and a little basket that I can throw stuff in and take it up at the end of the night rather than going up and down every time I need to put something up. I just got to find something I like. All right, we're going up the stairs. I still have to paint the railing a fresh coat of white. I've been trying to hold off so I get the carpet. Then we found out we was pregnant, and so that came into play. Um, this is the baby's nursery. Haven't really done much to it, but paint, furniture. Um, this is the bathroom. Hot mess. 
hot mess, that's all I can say. Um, I don't really have the energy that much to come up here that often. So it will stay a hot mess. Quickly, this is my son's room. I'm gonna do a tour of his room separately. This is the guest bedroom that has not been put together yet, painted. Um, thinking about, on this wall, doing a striped, striped little thing, like put some tape up, since we got so much of that paint, you know, paint it fresh white, paint the entire room a fresh coat white, and then stripes with gray. And then this is the movie room that we took the door off and messed up my doors trying to get the couch through it, which didn't fit, which is why the couch is still downstairs. And then this is, no, please go. This is just another storage, which is basically a drop off of everything. The only thing we've really done in this room is put the TV up. This section is going to be for my son's play area, which everything is a mess because it's during the day. And then this section, which I'm trying to get together, is going to be my desk area since we lost one room to a nursery. So, and don't even know when I'm gonna paint this. Haven't gotten that far yet. And then, like I said, that is the door that we took off trying to get the couch through the door, which didn't work, so. Yes, yeah, so that's it. Before I forget and don't even end the vlog, I just wanted to show you that I'm kind of getting my cabinets together. So I went and I bought little baskets for my cabinets and I'm so excited. Eventually I am going to paint them white and I do have shelf liners that I'm going to use. And then I have a bunch of labels that I'm going to use. Um, this is just, ooh, this is just what I did today. So I need to get one more purple one, a small purple one for the medicine. And then I actually went to Target and I got these for $3 and they have the shaker top. So I'm gonna put all of my seasonings in that one. It's gonna look so nice trying to get my life together. Oh, and then for, kinda got this together. And then those up there, I need to go to the container store and get some glass containers for those. But yeah, I'm so excited because it's coming along slowly but surely. And like for the cabinet up there, that probably won't be used because it's too tall for me to reach, even at my height, which is 5'8". And another reason why I'm really liking these is because I just threw away a whole bag of food because it expired. So when I do my grocery list, this will show me what I have because everything will be labeled. And then um, I don't want the bins to be overflowing because for me, a family of three, soon to be four, that's way too much. So I'm really excited to try this method of getting everything organize yeah also one more thing um i think i got my little gallery wall above my coffee station just about finished the only thing i have to do before i put these up is get the legs from ikea and paint them gold but um most of this stuff has been in my haul except for this picture up here bought that from the dollar store and it says a kitchen is the heart of a home i bought this for three dollars from, no, I got that from the dollar store also for a dollar. And then I bought this from Family Dollar. And yeah, this was $3. And then today I went to Target and I got this sign, which is so freaking adorable, milk, butter, bread, and eggs for $3 out of that $3 spot. And then I bought this, which says freshly baked pie served daily. And I got that from the $3 spot also, and it was $3. It was $3. And then that was the J for my haul. So like I said, once I get the legs I want from Ikea and paint them gold, I'll probably stick with this design. If not, this one and the J will be switched out for other pieces I already have. But hopefully I can get that up very, very soon. So, I guess this is good night. I want to end the vlog. I'm trying to get a little better with this vlogging thing. Um, 
I don't know how much footage I'll have today because this weekend sucked. It was boring. I didn't really do anything, but um, this is, I guess, my life, and I wanted to share it. I did show my um, house update and my coffee station decor that I'm getting together, so I'm about to jump in the shower, wash my hair, prep it to do it in the morning for work, and... I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave comments, leave questions. I love to hear from you and till next time.